or to make this design first we will take a polyline command Okay, we will take pull and count from here actually. Take polyline. Take this. Okay, our usage should be in world, that is why it create some problem. Take pull and count again from this one. Okay. this one this one hmm. like this now we will move this polyline from here Bring it here but place it here Actually, this line should be connected to this part. So, actually, I need to make it again. Now, delete that previous line. Make a copy of this line. Yeah, here we will make our design. First, we will make a square of dimension of five inches by five inches. Like this, and we will put this in every corner. This is not a column. This is uh, just for our reference so copy it okay. this point so copy this here Okay, now delete this remaining squares which we don't need. Now we need to extrude this. Extrude this. Select those squares and this one and give a height out. So, so our railing or parabola will be three feet. So give three feet distance. Now you will go to wireframe mode and make take rectangle command again and make little rectangles here. This might end up like little complicated, but just watch carefully. It's very easy. Just we will use we will be using this just to make the design of our of our parapet all. If you do not want any design, then you can just make it as a simple as, as simple as possible as your requirement. Uh, I will have done some mistakes. So. Yes. And here. Take rectangle again, click this point and 
this one now all our rectangle has been created now we will make this thing one by one suppose we will start using from this side so before we proceed first we will move our uses from here to here take uses command take this center point this one will be x axis and y axis like this okay <coughs> now first we will extrude this to this point okay As you can see, it has been created. Now we will learn how to use extract AS command. So we, by using extract AS command, what what to, it will do? As you can see now, in shaded mode, it's a solid object, but no lines visible here. So if we use extract edges, then automatically every edges will have a line we'll see how it works take extract edges command select the object and press enter now as you can see line is visible so that means the edges has been extracted now what we will do now we'll take offset command take one feet distance select this line and make again to here also we will take this line and give this we will see the design first if you can find any easier way of doing this then you can do that uh, I will do like this now take rectangle command again select this point to this point again take rectangle select this point to this point now we will extrude this extrude this inner polyline objects sorry take extrude select this polyline and sorry selection is and this polyline and given a distance okay it has been created now we need to subtract this so take subtract cover first select the whole object and then select this inner objects and also this now as you can see our opening has been created now we don't need these lines so just delete these lines everywhere where it is visible also here here this line Now we need to deselect this shift. Okay. Oh, it is okay. So our design has been created. Now here we will use copy edges command. So take this command from here, copy edges, select this edge, press space bar or enter, give the direction. Here we use four inches like this now we will use press pull command select this box and connect it yeah okay now we need to work on this layer so we'll take uses command there so take uses 
select this point select this as the x-axis sorry this actually so cannot select this so we need to be on our wireframe mode so QC is coming again Take a line command. Um, two inches distance. Now make a circle here. Circle around one inches. Like this. Okay. <coughs> now delete the line. You don't need the and we will extrude this circle and connect it here we will need this circle also here so we will now use array command so to use that type array select the object press space bar Okay, now we can use rectangular array, but in rectangular array we need to give column and rows, but we don't need here. We have only one rows, so we will use path count first to make a path here. Take a line count and connect here. Now we will again use array command. Select this object press space bar and then choose path and select this line as a path as you can see it automatically created so uh, we need some more distance in between so we will change that so here in between distance is 3 inches so we will use around 5 inches like this okay. now it is ok so, so one side design has been created we need to make this design in all the sides and we will put this design here so we will or we will make our issues to world again just select everything use move command select this point and connect it with this point as you can see a beautiful design of our open baranda has been created.